Let's go to Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. So what does murmuring mean? Let's look it up. A soft, low, or indistinct sound produced by a person or group of people speaking quietly or at a distance. So when you are murmuring, you are speaking in a low tone or a low volume. So you are usually, no, you are complaining when you are murmuring. Okay, what does disputings mean? Let's look it up. Let's do it. A disagreement, argument, or debate. So when you are disputing with a person, you are debating, you are arguing, so, you can be around people and disagree, but you don't have to argue. You don't have to fight. Let me tell you this story. Maybe a year ago, this woman that used to look at my channel, she contacted me either through Facebook or email, I forget. And this person, this lady, was asking me, Kevin, I am having pain in my legs. I can't walk. My husband has to, I believe at that time, her husband had to push her in a wheelchair. And she was asking me, Kevin, ask God, why there is so much pain in my legs why i can't walk okay so at that time there was this guy that i would speak to and i believe that that person can hear from god like actually hear from god Now, in some cases, yes, he was wrong, but in many cases, he was right. So I either sent him the email, yes, I sent him the email, and he replied back to it. And pretty much what the guy was saying, that God cursed her, placed pain in her legs because she constantly argues with her husband. So pretty much somewhere around the guidelines of since you are hurting me when you are arguing with your husband, I am going to hurt you with something. Something around there. I forget the actual words. But we have to understand when we sin, or if we sin, God is not happy about that. It actually makes him sad. It actually hurts him. We have to understand that. So, she got cursed with leg pain where she could not walk. Her husband pretty much had to do so many things for her because she could not walk. So in truth, they both were punished because now or before, while she was hurt, her husband had to do so much more because of the pain that his wife is going through or was going through. So this is telling you 
Don't argue. Don't fuss. Don't fight. Now, if someone, if there is a problem, you can speak about the problem without arguing with that person, of course. For instance, there is a person that I can pretty much speak about anything with, pretty much. And I know that I am not going to argue with her and she is not going to argue with me. Now, with some people, I know that if it sounds like you are disapproving <laughs> even a tiny bit of how they are and what they are saying, they are going to blow up. So I tend to not really say anything around those people. I allow God to continue to punish them. Okay. Let me say this. There was a person that is in my family. My Lord, that person would agitate me so badly. This person loved to argue with pretty much anyone. And I was dumb enough to argue back with this person. And when I would argue back, wow. It was like arguments fueled this person up, like made this person gain more energy to fight back crazy. Like this person was always looking for a fight, insane. And after the argument, I find out that nothing was solved. And not only that, I would have this guilt upon me for arguing with that person. I would feel really, really, really bad. And I continued to argue with that person. And I believe that bad things happened to me as well. Don't argue. Now, what I do now, I don't argue with that person. What I usually do, I pray before I have to meet up with that person. I pray. Because I am not going to get cursed because someone is depressed or someone is feeling down, so they want to take out their discontent upon people around them. No, that is not going to happen to me. No, I come against that. So I pray that this makes sense. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. So even when bad things are happening in your life, stop murmuring, stop complaining. Of course, when you involve yourself with other people, everything is not going to be just right. It is not. Take whatever you have to take, pray to God about it, and God is going to fix it. But what you don't want to do is put your finger in it and complain and murmur and make things worse. Approach the person, tell that person, hey, can you change this and that? If that person is not willing to receive what you are saying, hey, you shut your mouth and you pray to God about it. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. <laughs>